Hi Leo, welcome to your Love Connection reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, uh, decks I'm using, personal reading, social media, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. And I'd just like to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings. Those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel. Greatly appreciated. Um, thank you for being a part of the channel, being a part of its growth, and helping me get the messages out to the people that need to hear them. And thank you so much for all your support. Okay, Leo. Let's see what's going on for Leo, the month of November. Love connection reading. This can be any type of connection. Um, it can be a separation. It can be a marriage. It can be an ex. It can be someone you're dating, just boyfriend, girlfriend, someone that you like, you think they like you. Has to be a, an actual connection, not just someone that you like and they have no clue who you are. Um, if that's the case, you might want to watch the singles reading that I do, that I offer now. I just started last month. Uh, it's for singles, who's coming towards you, um, who, when, where, how, what kind of connection will it be, and that type of reading. So you may want to check that out. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy November. Happy fall. All right. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, planet. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that is totally fine. So Leo, what's going on with Leo and love for November? What's coming towards Leo? Who may Leo be dealing with for November? Spirit, please. Can we have one card for Leo, please? Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to take this one. Sagittarius. Hmm. So some Leos may be dealing with a Saggy, a fellow fire sign, two fire signs. Oh, hot energy there. All right. Let's see. All right. So the first thing I'll do, Leo, is I want to pull a love energy, love connection energy for you and your person. See what the energy is like right now for you and your person. If you're not dealing with the Sag, totally fine. Or maybe they have it in their chart somewhere. All right. So for Leo, for November, what is the love connection energy between Leo and whoever they're thinking about at this time? Let's see what we have. Healing, reconnecting with your true nature. And 33 there. And three is a very angelic kind of number that the angels are beside you. They're helping you. They're guiding you. They're around you. So maybe around you, helping you heal. Someone's healing their heart here. Could be you or the person you're dealing with. Someone's going through a lot of healing, healing energy, healing their hearts, I feel. All right, so, and that double, I mean, three to me is a very social number. People coming together, working together, reuniting together. It's a very social number. You add it together as six. Six is a very a healing, balancing number. All right, so what I want to do now, Leo, is I want to pull one for you, how you are feeling about your person and the connection, and then one for them, how they're feeling about you and the connection. I'm going to put you here, Leo, your person here. If you feel at any time the roles are reversed, please do that. That's how tarot works. Flip, flop, swap the energies around wherever you see fit. Only take what resonates, throw away the rest. This is a general reading for the collective. It's not a personal reading. So that being said, all right, it's all energy. Let's get one for you, one for your person on how you're feeling about each other, how you're feeling about the connection. All right, let's see how you're feeling, Leo. Jewel within a teardrop, appreciation, spiritual and emotional reconnection. So it could be you appreciate this person, you appreciate um, spiritual and emotional reconnection. So if you had an emotional, a spiritual reconnection within yourself, just with um, the spiritual energy, you may be really appreciating this person uh, coming into your life. And uh, 10 is about 
endings, but then 10, one is a new beginning. So, I mean, maybe you've been through healing too of things from the past. You have a newfound appreciation and a newfound spiritual and emotional connection and also maybe a connection with this person. So let's see how your person is feeling about you and the connection. Sacred heart, passion, love, spiritual communion. Wow, so a lot of spiritual energy here. Passion and love. So we got 12 there equals 3 again. So that would give 333, three, three, which is a very divine angel uh, number. I think angels and the spirit and divine energy is trying to bring this connection together with all these threes here and all this healing work. And you see this heart just aflame. So, yeah, they, they feel passion, love, and a spiritual connection with you also, spiritual communion. So you may be even connecting with this person in the 5D, whether you're aware of it or not, or they are or not, if you're having a lot of dreams or having uh, visualizations of this person, like random visualizations, you're like, where's that coming from? It's all from the divine energy. It's all 5D. It's all probably a spiritual connection uh, with this person. So let's see what the bottom of the deck has to say. The temptress here, we have 15. Seduction, deceit, a broken promise. Hmm. 15 is six, but six again is that healing balanced energy. So somebody m might have been tempted by somebody at one time here. Might have been tempted. It doesn't mean they took the temptation, but there might have been some sort of uh, temptation. And then we have winter's end here. Regeneration, rebirth, positive outcome. So something may be happening with this connection by winter's end. 16, 7 is a very divinely guided number. And then we have yin-yang, which is um, creating harmony through balance. So it's a very balanced energy here two polarities balancing each other out. So I feel like by winter's end, something is going to happen with this connection, be a very balanced um, connection of some kind or reconnect or something like that. But somebody was tempted by something at one point. I don't know what that is. Maybe we'll find out. All right, so let's do some clarification with the tarot. See what's going on here for you, Leo. Leo. Leo, Leo. Let me put these over here. All right, so why is Jewel within a teardrop for Leo, for Leo in this connection? Why is Jewel within a teardrop here, Spirit, please? The Queen of Swords a lot. And I always say whenever I get the Queen of Swords, um, this is sort of like divine energy to me, like the divine holding up the sword of truth, the sword of victory, bringing the soulmates together here. Like I always, that's how I read it. I read it as divine energy, but this is air energy. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius doesn't have to be. You could have it in your chart. Truth. Clarity, uh, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, uh, clear communication, energy here. So, yeah, I think this is, this is, you see all the butterflies flying around there for transformation. I really do feel like divine energy is trying to bring this connection together, um, trying to bring healing into, if it's, you know, both of you separately together, or maybe you, you know, could heal. Wow. Seriously? <laughs> I can't make this up. <laughs> I can't make this up. Did I not say this is divine energy with the sword of truth and victory? And here's the sword itself. Wow. Whenever I get the ace of swords or the queen, the swords to me, spirit tells me to read it as this is divine energy divine energy and I know all aces are divine energy but that is how spirit tells me to read it divine divine energy here bringing in this sword of truth clarity victory 
communication. Wow. So they, under them, they even, I mean, you have the queen, they have the ace. So it's almost like the same kind of energy. So it's like they now have, it's like they healed their heart and now they have a sacred heart that burns with passion, love, and a spiritual connection for you. And they've been handed that through the divine energy here with their healing and seeing things clearly and having that big aha moment, the big epiphany, now realizing what they want. This is the sword of victory, truth, clarity, communication, brand new beginning. Wow. That's a lot of air energy. So let's see for Leo. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords for Leo. The Five of Cups. So yeah, you were once sad, hurt, lonely um, over this connection at one point. Um, for some reason, there was a lot of sadness and hurt, feeling like the loss. And it's so funny here because you see this usually depicts somebody crying. And, and you have this here as, wow, jewel within a teardrop and this woman is crying. But through her tears comes appreciation and a spiritual and emotional connection with divine source, spirit, and with this person. And divine brought that into this person. And also this person needed a little more work because they actually got the ace itself. So they needed a little more guidance, a little more work. Than I feel you did but and you see all the clouds here like that spiritual energy so wow so I mean cups is water cancer Scorpio Pisces doesn't have to be over here all right so let's get the ace of swords let's clarify that for your person the four of swords in reverse so I don't, don't usually do reversals unless they fall out reversed and I feel it needs to be reversed, so I feel like this needs to be reversed, the Four of Swords in reverse. So, and I had just said they had just healed their heart, and now they have a sacred heart that's now burning a flame with love and passion and a spiritual energy. And the Four of Swords here is someone who has done their healing, their thinking, their contemplating. They uh, retreated, they've gone off alone and did all that work they had to do. And now it reversed, they're ready to come out of that state. Their healing work is done. They thought about it. They have clarity now. So now coming out of that um, retreat mode and ready to come forward with this Ace of Swords. All right, Leo, let's see. What is the actual situation for you? What's going on here for Leo? The actual situation for Leo Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. That's too many. Okay, one more. One more for Leo. And the Two of Wands. So, connecting to you, we have the Knight of Swords. So, ear energy. Again, a lot of ear here. So, I mean, if they're not a Sagittarius, or they could have ear heavily in their chart, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or maybe you do here, but a lot of um, ear. No pentacles yet, but we do have ear ones. Ones just came out, cups, so no earth energy yet. But we have the Knight of Swords, so this is rushing in. Um, kind of reckless energy. Um, it's sort of like the rebel kind of energy. It's connected to you. And then connected to them, we have the two of wands. That's their energy. Leo, Sag, Aries, and your energy. This is making a decision, making plans, decisions uh, very passionately, moving forward, what direction you're going to go in, and making a decision on the path that you choose here. So I feel like I feel like they already chose. You know, they, they made a decision and they already chose because they go from the two of wands to the ace of swords. So, and I feel like they're out of that thinking, contemplating mode. They're healed now. They've done their healing work and they're ready to come forward because they already decided with the two of wands. And you may have had an energy of wanting to like rush into this person. Um, the Knight of Swords energy. 
I don't know, maybe you did in the past or maybe you, you feel like you need to or you want to just rush into this person. But between the two of you, say eight of cups. So this is the energy of, you know, walking away from things that are no longer serving you or you can be walking to something better. So I don't get an energy of anybody like walking away from anybody. I feel like people have walked away from things that are no longer serving them. And now they have seen the light with the moon energy there. And now they're ready to walk and move towards what they want, what's better for them. Because you see these two energies both looking and going in the same direction. And this just could be the divine energy, again, coming in with the Knight of Swords, just kind of rushing this together, like trying to like just really bring this together. And it's on your side. I do feel like you're more advanced in that, Leo, with your faith, your spirituality, your higher knowing and divine energy than your person. I think they're slowly getting there, maybe. It's seeing the light, the light there. All right, so let's get a couple clarifiers. Uh, I just noticed this man walking towards the moon and he's facing more that way. So I do feel like your person took a little bit more time for them to um, figure this out than you did. So let's clarify this whole situation. So, okay, we have... Now we have some pentacle energy here with the two of pentacles and the queen of wands. So that's actually both your energy, Leo Sagittarius, queen, male, female, doesn't matter. And then we have the two of pentacles, which is, you know, about juggling things around, trying to find balance. So trying to find balance in this situation, you know, um, you know, this man person is dressed like a clown. So maybe you're like, you know, was, was I just a about this no I think juggling just all this around in your head like you know maybe I was just a fool maybe it's not real maybe blah 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 but I really do think boom this all this divine energy really hit you and you found through all the tears the jewel within this connection and how you feel about this person and then Queen of Wands here uh, over on their side for the actual situation so you're both thinking about each other with the Queen King or Queen fire energy there so I do feel like the situation is here that uh, I do see coming together with the eight of cups like walking towards each other and divine really trying to push this along between the two of you you know making that decision you got two two about decisions weighing things out balancing things out so let's see what your advice is, Leo, in this connection. What is your advice, Leo? But uh, yeah, balance, balance over here, yin and yang. So yeah, there will be balance. A spirit just had me look over there. So <laughs> yin and yang. Yeah, so there will be balance in this. Could be by winter's end in this connection, I feel. My ears are ringing. So my right ear, Wow. It's just like really ringing. Okay. So we got the four of cups energy here. So that's your advice. So, so far the four of cups is about contemplating an offer, sending an offer, you know, will an offer come in? Should I send an offer out? You know, feeling kind of like, can be bored and melancholy also. The two of cups, wow. So two soulmates coming together as one with the two of cups here. Soulmate energy. Water energy doesn't have to be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So your energy is, for advice here, is to think about, you know, thinking about this soulmate union coming together. Soulmate union right here with the Two of Cups. And you get the Four and the Two, which is the Six of Cups, which is soulmate energy, past life energy. Someone maybe you've known since childhood, if not, um, maybe just for a very long time. Um, so thinking about coming together with this <laughs> soulmate, that's what your advice is to think about coming together, the, you know, with this soulmate. So maybe, you know, manifesting, you know, whoops, there goes all my cards. I'm going to set my cards on fire. 
And I use the YouTube app, so there is no pause button, so I can't pause it and start over. So please bear with me. Sorry about that. Knocking my shit over. Okay, so. So there had to be a reason why that happened. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, all right, so I think <laughs> Spirit wants you to manifest this soulmate reunion in some way, um, although the Four of Cups isn't really, nobody's really taking any action, it's like you're just thinking about the soulmate reunion, so let's get a couple clarifiers on that, let's see what's going on. Okay, I just got the message that, you know, everything just got knocked over here, that you're going to knock each other's socks off. I, I don't know. That's, that's the message I just got. <laughs> All right. So, wow. We got the three of cups. All right. So, let's get another one. Let's get another one. And the knight of wands. So, so your advice is the Three of Cups is coming together, reuniting, celebrating, having a good time, reunite, reuniting with this person. And Knight of Wands takes action, moves forward with a lot of drive and ambition, very passionate energy. This can be in and out player kind of energy sometimes. Um, I'm not getting that energy. I mean, the Three of Cups sometimes can be like a third party type of thing but I'm not getting that energy either. So with the Four of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Three of Cups, I think if you want this reunion, you may be the one to have to take action and think about how you want to approach this person for this reunion. And maybe, you know, just meeting up for a drink or a cup of coffee or something to come together to make this soulmate union come together between you and your person. So the Knight of Wands energy here is on their side. So I think they may be open to that because this is someone that moves forward. A lot of drive, like I said, drive, ambition, passion. But if they are only interested in like a flighty energy, like in and out type of energy or a one night stand, you may want to be leery of that. And I'm, I'm not getting that energy. I'm not really getting that energy, but you never know. Okay, so let's see what the possible outcome may be. Well, we got two here. Wow, so we got the Chariot and the Emperor. So we have two majors here. We have um, Aries and Cancer. So yeah, someone will take the lead here. Somebody will take charge, take the lead, take control to move this forward. This balanced yin-yang energy over here. Balanced energy moving forward with success and victory, drive, ambition, um, and we'll start to move this forward. Somebody will, whether it's you or them. Maybe you that may have to make the first move of some kind. So let's get some clarity. So, oh, we got temperance here. Here's the Saggy energy coming through with temperance for the outcome. And, oh, the Ten of Swords, yikes. So yeah, some sort of ending here. This is a painful, hurtful ending, but then there's always a, a new beginning. After our ending is always a new beginning. So again, you know, temperance is about healing and these did come out as a clarifiers and this is about healing. So if you are dealing with Sagittarius, temperance is Sagittarius. Ten of Swords is a painful, hurtful ending. So whatever ending they've been through, I feel like they've healed over that. They've had patience. Uh, this is all about time, um, divinely guided energy. This is the angel that brings the soulmates together. This is all about reuniting also. Um, just, you know, a lot of healing, patience, balance. So I feel like if they have been through an ending, I think they're really balancing their energy out as we have the yin and yang over there and that healing energy over the Ten of Swords, because that's a major, so it would over-trump the Ten of Swords here, which is a minor. So, 
All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The world. So closing out, out all cycles no longer serving, having a whole new cycle, whole new world, whole new cycle in life. Ten of Cups, total fulfillment, joy, happiness, emotional fulfillment, and love and every single way. Ten of Cups energy, happy home and family. Ten of Wands, laying down the burdens that are no longer serving, but the sun does come up in the background there. You Leo are the sun. So, you know, there is sun beyond the, these Ten of Wands that were once a heavy burden. And then leads to the Ten of Pentacles. So now we have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands, Ten Pentacles. Holy crap. And if you add that 10, 10, 10, 30 equals 3. And we have had 33 over there to begin with. So Ten of Pentacles energy here. Um, stable, secure, abundance, growth, expansion. Um, again, it's a hap hap this is usually a marriage card. It doesn't have to be. People coming together, sharing everything together, having a legacy together. There's the passionate uh, communication coming forward. It could be over the internet. It could be face-to-face, -face, over the phone. Very passionate Cupid's arrows heading towards the sun. The tower. So tower moment. Yeah, I do feel like divine energy here bringing in this tower moment and this whole connection. Or it could be, you know, a big epiphany, aha moment, a surprise. It can be a crumbling down of something. Uh, something just crumbling down here or somebody being hit with like a bolt of lightning and having like a big aha tower moment and then coming forward with a uh, offer here with the page of wands a passionate offer of some kind good news coming in good news coming in after somebody was hit with a tower moment love communication fast action travel security legacy coming together Laying down the heavy burdens, but the sun all, always rises, is behind there. Happiness, joy, fulfillment, and a whole new world for the two of you coming together. All right, so let's get some extra clarification. So I do see um, soulmate here, soulmate here. So this definitely is a soulmate connection here. Leo for you and I feel like you realize that now and I think the person is just realizing that now and if you've been waiting for them to heal or whatever I feel like um, they have healed and they may be coming forward something may be coming out of this by the end of winter I don't know maybe they were tempted by you by the past you know in the past I don't know here but now we have the lilies just number 30. Wow. So three is a big number here. And then we have the king of spades there, which is the king of swords. So we have the queen over here, and now we have the king down here, which is divine counterparts, which is soulmate energy. And I think the Leah, uh, lilies here represents like peace and harmony. Uh, let me see. Number 30. I just want to read a little tiny bit. Leo, lilies, calm, peace, and serenity is what I preach. Uh, your parents and elders show up under my symbol. I bring wisdom and experience. I signify a long-term relationship. <coughs> Sorry. So, yeah, communication needs to happen. My throat's getting dry and itchy. My ear was ringing. I knocked all my shit over. <laughs> Contentment and satisfaction is my angle. So that's a good energy. So coming together and having this peace, contentment, maybe possible even commitment. All right, so what else do we have for Leo? Wow. Okay, Leo. Wow, so <laughs> these are basically both your cards that just flew out. We have the sun, which is Leo. We have bear, which represents strength in this deck, which strength represents Leo. So the sun here is the happiest card Always, it's about happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, happy home, family, <coughs> soulmate energy, ace of pentacles, brand new beginning, divinely guided, stability, security, moving forward for the long term, 
three and four, very stable, secure uh, foundation. And then we have bear, which is all about strength. So I do feel it's a very strong emotional, spiritual bond connection here. You got the Ten of Wands repeating again, which is about laying down the heavy burdens. Fifteen is six, is that peace in uh, balance again. All right, so, so yep, yeah, bravery, strength, being courageous, a strong bond here, strong connection with the bear. And then we have the child here, which, I mean, if you don't have children with this um, person, it could be just a very uh, childlike energy between the two of you, kind of youthful and playful. Maybe this person makes you feel youthful or you make them feel youthful like a child again. Um, kind of like teeny bopper love or something like that. And then you have the jack of spades down there, which is sort of like this nine of swords energy here. And then you have 13 again, four, which is all about the stability and foundation. So feeling just like a very, and with the rainbow there, just a very ha happy, youthful kind of playful energy between the two of you. Or they could have children, uh, or you could have children. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, we got the key here. So I do feel this is the key, you know, you have the key to their heart, they have the key to your heart. 33 again, wow. So <laughs> we started with 33 and now we're ending with 33, wow. Three, again, is all about reunion, coming together, working together. Eight of pentacles there is about putting in the de dedicated effort and the hard work. Or it doesn't have to be hard work, just putting in the, you know, dedicated, dedicated effort and work um, into a connection. And having the key to unlock each other's heart here with the key. What's under that, I'm wondering... So, wow, Leo. So, I do see a very strong connection here. It could be spiritual. There's love. There's passion. Um, I see things moving forward. Whether you make the first move or they do, I feel like somebody will. I feel like somebody's healed. Um, somebody's ready to come out of this Four of Swords mode, which is sort of like the Hermit mode. Um, I mean, they could have been tempted by you or you tempted by them at one time. I don't feel like anybody gave in to that temptation. Um, Maybe that's where the connection started. But I do see a very balanced energy here and a whole new world in this connection. Okay, uh, Leo, if you do like my style, how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. You'll get a uh, love connection. You'll get one for singles. Who's coming toward me? When, where, how? What kind of connection will it be? Uh, messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know at this time, and a general reading. So if you're interested in all that, please hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you in advance. So good luck to you here, Leo, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.